Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So Doreen Virtue, really just very casually know tiny little bit about her. So I tried to wiki her, and you can't. Uh, so I've pieced together a few things on the internet, and um, I think a lot of people know who she is. So we'll just look at Doreen Virtue. Why did she get out? What's she doing now? Praise the Lord. So like I said, there's really nothing on the internet um, that's not published uh, you know, for and by Doreen Virtue. Uh, you can't uh, wiki her. There's nothing there. So I found a little bit of stuff, and I'll tell you what I've got. Doreen Virtue is an American author and folk psychology motivational speaker. Okay, that's kind of what someone has defined her as. Uh, folk psychology motivational speaker. Now, she was born in 1958, so a year uh, early, uh, after me. And she's the founder of Angel Therapy. And at the time, a new type of uh, new age therapy based on the premise that communicating with angels is the key to healing. Huh. So, um, angel therapists, all right, claim they can facil facilitate healing by helping their patients get in touch with angels who will guide the patients in the right direction. Okay. And then uh, for education, I just see that she's got the California Coast University in 1996. She has had uh, two or three spouses, uh, 1995, another one, uh, then in 1999, then another one, they don't know when it started. Uh, and then the last one, um, I guess sometime after 1999. And she's got two children, uh, Charles and Grant, both taking the name Virtue. So interesting. Now, she's got a lot of books, and this list a few of them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. There's a number of different uh, Oracle cards and tarot-type cards that she's published. And then I see 2020, this little quote, or part of a quote from her, supposedly says, uh, If you're being called out of the New Age to follow Jesus, you may initially feel confused and frightened. And that was the first part of something attributed to her as having been said. So um, that's what I know. I know what uh, I looked up. And I'd heard the name and uh, and wasn't sure really what it was. So here I'm doing a drawing on uh, Doreen Virtue. So this is the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini. This is published by U.S. Game Systems. And I really love these cards. And they've got an interesting story behind them, too. And there's a follow-up deck um, that I sometimes use uh, together with these. But uh, so they come in a, a typical uh, just a little cardboard card box. It's fine. Um, the artist is David Palladini who was born in Italy, but raised in the United States in Highland Park, Illinois. So that's a little bit interesting once you get to know the cards. And uh, the instruction book that comes with them is just a run of the mill. Um, this card means this and that card means that kind of thing. Really nothing all very meaningful in here. And it's kind of printed really small. So there's all of that. The interesting thing about these cards is uh, what happened. David Palladini was just finishing up um, art school when I forget who it was, someone approached him about doing uh, tarot cards. Um, and now David Palladini just recently died. This is 2021 in May, and he may have died three years ago or in that in that time span. So uh, 17, 2017 or something. And then so then these were done at the beginning of his career, which would have been put him in his uh, 20s or late 20s, I would imagine. So you can see that these are very nice cards, very soft spirit and very to the point. Uh, they're not hard to uh, interpret. <clears throat> and I lay these out like this so that you can get an idea of what a full deck looks like if you're not a person who buys a lot of cards or or sees a lot of tarot cards. I do because I just like to collect them. I think they're, they're little pieces of art. <clears throat> but uh, this fellow uh, did these right out of art school, and then he could never have imagined they would become such an integral, become such an integral part of tarot. And then later in his life, he went ahead and... Um, and did an updated uh, deck. But these are the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini. And uh, they're really great. Hello. Okay, Doreen Virtue. Doreen Virtue. There was a time when she would have appreciated uh, my doing a tarot drawing uh, on her. She wouldn't have liked the deck because her angel cards were um, infinitely more positive, I suppose. Um, and she spent a good time of her life, a good part of her life, uh, pushing all that uh, stuff. And then, boom, she sees the light and uh, tells people, don't buy any of my books, which she lists my name. 
and uh, and don't uh, buy any of those uh, five or six or seven decks of tarot cards uh, link below uh, don't buy those anymore yeah. and uh, I don't know I just think she was always um, she may have innocently gotten into uh, her metaphysics uh, uh, rut uh, because of her upbringing but um, I think it was always about uh, making money and then I think she read something and got scared uh, in the Bible and decided let's go completely the other way but she could not resist the griff and it still goes on today so let's see six cards for Doreen Virtue <coughs> one two three four five and six okay so put these away we need them for the end of this Celtic cross Dorothy Virtue or Dorian sorry Doreen Virtue what is the signifier for Doreen Virtue the 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 original okay so this is the four swords the four swords hmm this is interesting because this almost to me speaks to the the now uh, the current Doreen Virtue but this is this is the fellow who uh, he knows this is the knight who knows he needs to take a break this could even be his coffin that he's he's resting on um, and he uh, moves on too quickly at his peril so interesting that that's the self of Doreen Virtue I meant to focus this on her earlier self but let's see what happens <clears throat> the challenge to that is going to be the ten of pentacles okay that's you know happy family this is you know familiar wealth this is everybody is having a great time the family is closed they've got a little baby they're going to the castle look at this they're just paved in gold here so the challenge to taking this uh, forced break is um all the familial wealth that uh, ah that makes sense the money was really coming in okay but and now you realize I need to put the brakes on this because I'm scared. The base of this reading then is the Knight of Rods. So, you know, the Knight is uh, the, the guy in the court cards who uh, is going to go to battle for the idea. And uh, Rods are plans, motion, power. So in the in the the base of this, she was a dutiful knight with her plan. She was making it come to pass. She was carrying that out. In the past of this, Ten of Cups, again, everything has been rainbows and roses and, and dreams fulfilled. Okay, so that's what we had going. In the sky of this reading is the Knight of Swords. Ah, then comes in Doreen is entering now as the Knight of Truth. Okay, and the likely outcome for the first part of this, so the cards did uh, follow my, my request, is Temperance. So some sort of a balance between those two. So what about Doreen right now? What's the deal with Doreen Virtue right now? Why, why? And, and what is going on now in four cards. So the self of this question, Dorian, right now, again, so this, this Knight of, of Swords has become a King of Swords. And now she is really preaching this gospel that she's got right now. It's in the uh, environment of Two of Swords, having had to make a choice so between truth and justice. you know. And so she thought, I think really she now believes that uh, this is truth, but she can't help but making a little uh, cash. The um, hopes and the fears for this, <laughs> the chariot. So the chariot is talking about things coming on at a rapid pace. I mean, she realizes now she's 63 years old. You know, you know, we've got 20. If we're lucky, really, really lucky, 30 years, but we've probably got 20, 25 years left if, if we're actually lucky. So she knows that things are, are moving on. And in the sky of this reading is two of pentacles keeping things balanced so she uh her mortal material self uh really is tempted by uh, all the um you know the fame and the money and all that but uh this other part of her now this newly discovered self you know aligned with uh the script uh for jesus is um she's, she's trying to balance all that right now i don't know this was a little uncomfortable but uh because after all uh, let's see. She started out as the Knight uh, Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is, is the Knight that's you know, taking a break. He knows he needs to uh, really get up at his peril. He needs to 
take his time and get himself reestablished, or he might be crawling into that sarcophagus that he's laying on top of. And uh, but the, and the challenge to it was the uh, ten of uh, pentacles, which is you know familiar wealth, happy family, you know everything going your way. This these two parents and the little uh, baby, and um, uh, going up to their castle, you know paved in gold. Uh, so everything's you know going. That's the challenge to stopping. Uh, and then she started out uh, in the base of that reading as the Knight of Rods. So that's a knight uh, who's fighting for his plans. To, to get them right. And in the uh, past, we had the ten, the Nine of Cups, which is just dreams fulfilled. So everything was coming in exactly the way she wanted. Then suddenly, the Knight of Swords pops up, and she realizes, oh my God, there's some truth here. She gets scared, and she feels like now she's discovered the truth. But what's constant throughout all of this is that she always thinks she somehow is connected with a, high, a higher being, even now that she changes over says, oh, oh, now I understand. This is what it is. And switches over to um, Christianity. Then um, you know, the likely, likely outcome of all that it says is temperance. So it makes sense. She's got to balance these two things. Then I said, but what's with the self right now? And King of Swords, so that knight has become a king. I mean, he, she is really out there, you know, carrying this uh, cause forward. Why? Because she had to make a choice. And she did make a choice, and she thought it was the right choice. Um, and uh, the hopes and the fears of the chariot, things are coming on. She's not getting any younger. And if she's closer to uh, those pearly gates, she wants to make sure she's on the inside and not the outside. And then um, the likely outcome of the whole thing, just like the temperance in the first uh, likely outcome, this is the two of pentacles, keeping things balanced. And uh, so, you know, she's always going to be tempted by the money she can rake in, but also, uh, I think, believing that she's giving a true message. That's where we're at. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.